Peter the Schmeichel wanted to leave Man United. There once was a birthday, Eric by physical scrap, but the pace I'm crying, five star weak foot, kind of sus, it should have been five star skills. Oh, when the body man comes, he's got zero caps for Ireland's son. Oh, when the body man comes, he gets a green link to Roy Keane. Burnley have won 10. It's just an underwhelming card, isn't it? Testing, testing, one, two, three. There's a guy on Reddit who posted this comment. Basic EACB SBC. Not enough anything to be really outstanding. Solid option, but can't really compete with the fullback. Slightly over the top, but... Kinda underwhelming, not gonna lie. Was expecting a 90-plus rated card that cost 400k. They want people to keep using fullbacks as center back. 82 pace in April is a joke. And then the counter to that is 90-plus pace with a chem style is absolutely fine for CB. I don't know why people feel like they need to have every single player at 99 pace. What's up, boys? And welcome to the 87 rated Eric Bai, aka Eric Bertrand ba uh, Bai. I don't know why you don't have his full name. His full name is Eric Bertrand Bai, also known as Eric Bai. Based on the stats that I've already seen, I was expecting a little bit more from this card. Again, five-star skill moves would have been so much more sweet to have on a card like this. He's got 70 passing, so I mean, like, really, what is the five-star weak foot going to do? Makes him a little bit more adept at getting the ball out, maybe in terms of distribution out to the wing backs and into the midfield uh, and such. So, I mean, I guess that's not a total negative, but for about 250,000 coins, I was expecting a little bit more from this card. We'll do a deep dive in the stat, but the question I have for you guys, do you run wing backs as your center backs? And if so, I don't know what the rest of the question is. Do you have a problem with guys that run uh, fullbacks as wingbacks? I mean, like, in theory, what's the difference between guys running wing, uh, fullbacks at center back as opposed to wingers at striker, right? So, like, oh, like, I mean, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting little discussion to have. Or what about center back to midfielders? Is, is it too OP to run center backs at midfielders or midfielders uh, bring them down on CDM? So, I don't know. Interesting little conversation to have there. But today, it is all about the 87-foot birthday Eric Bailly that is coming in at, like I said, a cheeky 250,000 coins. And I would think the Joe Gomez, Eric Bailly, if you're looking for two center backs in the Premier League to combine, I think you could probably do a whole lot worse than Eric Bailly and Joe Gomez. We are, however, going to be running John Stones because we just love uh, we just love a little bit of John Stones and the fact that he gets that green link into Joe Hart. We're going to have a really fun squad to use today, but before we go any further, boys, smash like on the video for Eric Bailly. Smash like on the video if you guys agree that he should have gotten the five-star skill moves instead of the five-star weak foot. Smash like on the video if you think this card should have been like a 90-rated card and maybe 350, 400,000 coin price tag. I would have been fine with that. Uh, but for 250,000 coins, I'll pay a little bit more for a little bit more jacked off of a card at this stage in the game. So I don't know. If you agree with me, smash like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So for those of you guys that don't remember, he got this card for his FIFA 18 card, a historic, historic card. Was very, very OP back then. Uh, and today he is revived and becomes a usable player in the Premier League once again. So 6-1, medium high, three-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. But with the Shadow Chem style, man, I don't get it, right? Because again, I've got the Boateng and the Sven Bender who I like better than Lars Bender. And they both have this like 77 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. And I've never had it. I've never had an issue with either Sven or Boateng. We're gonna find out if we uh, if it's the same thing in this episode here, where I really get caught off guard with a with a with a center back that has 89 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. Now, where it's a little bit underwhelming, 82 reactions. You know what I mean? And at this stage in the game, we're almost in freaking I don't know. We're almost in December 2021. I would like a little bit more reactions. I think 77 agility is really good. 81 short passing is fine for a center back. You don't need much more than that. And then the five star weak foot on top of that makes that pretty decent. And then the defending stats are pretty good. 85 defensive awareness, sure. For an 87, I'd want one of the high. I'd want. I'd want one of those stats to be. One of those uh, crazy stats, uh, defensive awareness, to be one of the higher rated stats. But 98 standing tackle with 98 interceptions. Uh, and then 90 uh, defensive awareness with, in my in my opinion, the reason that I like Sven Bender more than Lars is the aggression. The 89 aggression, it's one of my favorite stats on a center back. The 89 strength is uh, top tier, and then the 83, st uh, 83 stamina for a center back is decent enough, uh, and then has the dual 87 heading accuracy and the 86 jumping. So we're going to dive in. The episode, he's got 87 composure. I don't know how that affects a, uh, a center back. He's got decent enough ball control. Again, reactions a little bit sus, balance. Don't really need balance or reaction. Don't really need balance or agility on a card when you consider what Klosterman and Varan have. Uh, both have very low agility and balance, and uh, both are still some of the best players in the game. We paired them up with the other. Crazy to think about this, but the combination of Kessi, Zaha, Drogba, Jervinho, Eric Bai, and uh, Arié have combined for zero international ca uh, caps for the Republic of Ireland. Probably one of the craziest. Probably one of the craziest stats. I mean, if you talk about guys like. It played for Chelsea, historic night at Bayern, which I don't love talking about. Zaha, Crystal Palace legend, Gervinho, uh, ultimate team legend. Um, and, you know, it's just crazy that these guys, 
even though they've been really good in Ultimate Team and get these colorful cards, have never been good enough to get even one cap for their national team. So we're also going to test out the Gervinho card. You guys have been asking for it. Five-star uh, skill moves, three-star weak foot. Match number one, the Cota de Ireland squad featuring Neff. What's up, guys? The Match number one, and welcome to another Alice. Episode of Wait it wouldn't be a Cota de Ireland episode yeah, if we didn't have Didier Drogba wearing the R Republic of Ireland squad kit. It's going to be a good test. Alexander Isak, he's got the Dembele. Can confirm he's got yellow boots. Sit back, relax. He's got that, he's got that, yeah, he's got that wide body type. Here we go, Eric. Again, five-star skill moves is just so much more fun, dude. Dravinho with the lean body type. He's got that same body type as, uh... I believe the same body type as, um... Elsha. Um... I'm human here watching this game of football. Nice. Gervinho's a bit of a mad lad voice. Okay, keep it, keep an eye on, right? That's obviously Luis Suarez. I'm not too worried about him being caught off guard. Dembele is going to cut in. The night, huh? A little sus there. A little, little sus. D didn't really feel. Um, wasn't a whole lot of. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of strength behind that challenge. Tell you, tell you what. Right off the bat, I think my favorite player that we're using so far is this Gervinho. Okay, that was solid. That was a solid little challenge right there. Most of you guys that are United supporters, there's no question about it. You're probably a little bit underwhelmed that he's not like, you know what I mean? Th th that he maybe he's not an 88, that he didn't get the five star, uh, that he didn't get the five star skill moves. I'm human here watching this. Game you, we gotta have that. Is that the 80 composure? Or is that just Yano Black being a crazy keeper? First half impressions: Eric Bailly has made no mistake so far. Uh, there was that one challenge. I am staggered at Maguire. I'm human here watching this game of football. I am staggered at Maguire. Staggered at an international player can just get done like this. There we go. Gervinho. Go on, lad. Gervais Yakoasi, dude. Coming in with an absolute... The, the, the Magidi spin? Go on, bro. Holy smokes. Alexander Isaac. Referee, come on, bro. Staggered at an international player can just get done like this. Come on, dude. I didn't even press anything. I just literally ran into him, bro. I didn't press anything. I literally just ran into him. All right. You want the ball? Joe Hart always wants the ball. Solid little challenge. Nice little challenge from the other uh, from the other King Eric. I was going for a, I was going for a slide tackle there, but for, for whatever reason, it didn't initiate. What's up, guys? The Panthers here, and welcome to Morgan. another episode of Wayne. Unbelievable! Is that the composure? Is that the lack of composure right there from Jerv? Let's get into the game. Let's do it. Come on. Aquí la tiene puede ser la última jugada para ganar el partido. Si lo meten ahora, no habrá tiempo para la reacción. Oof! I deny noch mal. Slightly over the top, but good luck. Tom. Solid. Uh, another. I mean, if there's if there's one thing I'll say about if there's one thing I'll say about Eric Bailly, man, he's been really really solid for us. That ability to, with ability to do strength dribbling, we got Net, aka Niall Horgan. Jeez, FIFA 21. <laughs> Saucy. Yeah, Go on, Zaha. Damn, I hate doing it, but I think we're gonna take Drogba off again. Cause it's just it's so much more dynamic. You need dynamic players in Ultimate Team. We're gonna take Drogba off. We're actually gonna bring Ezalon as a um we're actually gonna bring Ezalon as a winger. Solid. That's that's uh, that's Eric Bailly and Ronaldo. Again, I, it, you guys might think the way you're you know you're overreacting. You're literally just you're talking every time Eric Bailly touches the ball. 
I think that's what you guys want to know. You guys want to know what is Eric Bailly like every time he touches the ball. You feel me? Roy Keane? I can't believe an international player gets done like that. Very solid. Very solid from Eric Bailly. I mean, like, the question is... Very solid from Eric Bailly. I mean, like, the question is... Staggered that an international player can just get done like this. That's a little bit sus. That was a little bit sus from Luke Shaw, to be fair. Here's the question, right? What's the optimal best two center backs in, in the Premier League? Center back. Hey, I'm going I'm to keep it a stack. Eric Bailly in position to take out Mbappe. And you know, this is a really good game to get a feel for the pace. Center back. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. You don't need the finesse shot trait this year, boys. You do not need the finesse shot trait this year. I gotta say, a Gervinho, man. He's been really fun to use. For, if anything, he's, he's just been really fun to use. And if you didn't do El Sharawi, I feel like maybe Jerv is a must-do. This is what I'm really liking. This guy, this formation that this guy's running. Center back. Here we go, Bai. That's literally uh, Bai spamming. 250k for the Irish Varun. First glance almost fooled me that it's good value. Center back. Dede the center back. What's nice. There's, there's Bai again. Yeah, I mean, wasn't wasn't a convincing takeaway, but staggered that an international player can just get done like this. Come on, bro. Staggered that an international player can just get done like this. That's sus. It's Mbappe's 92. I mean, there's not a lot of cards. There's not a lot of cards that are going to be able to... Yeah, John Stone's got 81 sprint speed, 71 acceleration. Yikes. Solid. Eric Bailly. I think what people are really scared to do is complete him. And this isn't a card that everyone has to do. If you're a United supporter, you're obviously going to do it. Uh, but I think what people are a little bit frustrated about is the fact that we would have paid probably 350, 400,000 coins for an 89 rated Eric Bailly with five star skill moves. That would have been fun. This just is a little bit, I think the only word that I can use is meh. Certainly a very good card, but just a little bit meh for where we are in FIFA. And I think what we were expecting as a community. Maybe jack those passing stats off a little bit. Give him, um, give him defensive awareness in the area of uh, 87 and 88 but maybe we're nitpicking here so i'm gonna say two and a half out of five in terms of value plenty of a uh, couple other guys that you can get on the market in terms of on the pitch performance he felt very solid i'm gonna give him a three and a half out of five uh stopped everything that we asked him to stop there was no you know didn't wasn't ever caught uh wasn't caught off guard especially in that second game the guy was running a wide formation and um was able to test me out with that ronaldo and mbappe and never really felt like uh there was a guy that got by me and that's obviously a huge issue in in fifa 21 through balls and you want a guy that's going to be able to keep up with the mbappes and and ronaldo those. And that was a player of the month Mbappe as well. If you guys did enjoy the episode, yeah, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.